Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthur Next Plays King Arthur the Role-Playing War Game. So, uh, in our last episode, we managed to take the province of West Mercia from the independent uh, who owned it, which means that we now control uh, most, all of southern Britain except for our two major kingdoms and our enemies here, um, which is good because we're almost out of money. Uh, so, <laughs> hopefully this will be enough to win the fight against these guys. Um, so we're going to start by attacking here. Um, and let's take a look at this guy. He's a melee hero. He's pretty nasty. But at least the fact that we don't have a sage should not matter too much in this fight. Um, so he has one archer, huh? All right, and he only has four sets of troops. We'll do this. We'll do this uh, this battlefield this time. Yeah, where are you? That's a portrait of a hero who I sorely want. He would be another sage um, who I could give to these guys. Help me out a great deal. Okay, of course, the main reason, one of the main reasons to go and do those East and West Mercia provinces as soon as you can is to get the income from them. Because the income from them is not insignificant. And the longer you go without it, the worse position you're in. Okay, so we'll send the cavalry. So this map has a river flowing through the middle of it, um, which has two places to cross. Uh, our side of the river, the attacker's side, has three victory locations. The defender's side has four. Um, but it's really oftentimes it comes down to who controls this crossing because there's four victory locations right next to it, plus the other one on our side is five. So if we can control that crossing, it's pretty easy for us to get five victory locations. Um, so that's kind of the main goal when you are on this map. Um, so I guess I'll send the champions this way as well. Send the depleted yeomen to those victory locations and the full yeomen heavy infantry. Oh, I'll come down here. What is this? Oh, another full yeoman. Okay. Um, so I'm going to send, try and send you across the river if you can make it. We'll see. Um, you come down here. Infantry. You go up there. Archers, archers, archers. We'll send the archers down to like here. And then this, this, Infantry. this, this, Infantry. this, this Infantry. and this here. Okay. Hopefully we can win this without taking too many casualties. I'm going to leave the archers here. Looks like they're spreading out pretty wildly. Shield. They should be able to run circles around them. The archers are leaving this crossing. Looks like it. Send them back 
to there. They'll be able to cut me off from that. Hmm, I wonder what their strategy is here. Just don't want those cavalry to be wiped out. Other than that, I don't really care. I'd like to grab this victory location, however. save them. Hmm, nothing I can do about that. Archers. That might just save my cavalry, however. Just... 
is this? Axeman. Sure. Actually. Might as well let my archers do as much damage as they can. So we'll just let them sit there in, uh, <coughs> in range of our archers, and we'll just pour down death on them. What happened to his archers? They must be in these woods. There's no other place they can be. already engaged with these guys. There's his archers. As soon as my knights finish off those axemen, I'll go attack them. Killed two of them, and now they're going to die. This guy apparently gave up. I think the hold spell wore off. Well, when we capture him, that should end the battle. Yeah. All right, that went fine. Almost no losses. Yeah, eight soldiers which is what we needed out of that fight because the next fight is going to be much much harder yeah six cavalry two champions um, so she's out of movement he might as well stay there he attacks him though. It could get ugly. I don't know. Hopefully we can This is the, this will be the first time I'm actually worried about losing a fight. Outright losing a fight and not just losing like all my troops is if he attacks him. Yeah, there's no point in just moving back to there. Okay. All right, well, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. All right. Yeah, 
this is going to be nasty. Let's take a look at his heroes. He's got, actually, this guy kind of sucks. Now, three Dragon Strike and four Venomous Curse. You're going to spend your skill points. I'm glad you spent them like that. He has Nightfall and Dragon's Eye. That's going to really suck. Because I still don't have a Sage. Um, Alright. I think we can win this. But it's going to be super bloody and it's going to be really close. Like, really close. And it's going to come down to victory locations. So let's see what map he chooses. Okay, he went for this map. That is fine. And I'm going to have to think how I deploy my troops here. This is going to be all about victory locations. So, to leave somebody behind here to take this village. Um, and somebody is these 20 yeomen. We'll stay behind here to take this village. Um, Marches. 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 So the center is the going to be the key to this map. Um, chance here. So my cavalry that way. Knights. My knights this way. Infantry. 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 I think I'm going to send a unit of pikemen in both directions as well. Knights. Just give me a little bit more flexibility. those guys back. Whoops. Oh well. Shouldn't matter too much. these two that I sent off. Okay, I gotta remember that. Okay. Into there for now and Infantry. go ahead and grab that, make sure we get that. Okay. Alright. I'm actually kind of nervous about this fight. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Um yeah, I have to hope that they screw up a little bit in order to win this. And the bad news is if we win this, it's not going to be the end of the war because we're not going to be in a position to follow up on it. So they're going to be able to recruit another army. This is the downside to fighting West Mercia is we let these guys off the hook a little bit. Uh-oh. Sending anybody over here? As of right now, it doesn't look like it. 
They're sending a unit of light cavalry over here. Just one, two. They're sending two units of light cavalry over there. another spearman and send them that way. And I recall these spearmen because it looks like I won't need them over there. Those turning knights are going to suck to deal with. Capture this. What does this do? So you sent stamina for all your units within a 300 meter range. Sending this, I wonder. Well, the good news about Nightfall is it slows down their armies, which means I get to keep my victory point location advantage for a little bit longer. And uh, the longer I can keep it, the lower I can drain their morale. Sending all of those guys down that way, huh? Marches. Let's advance. Training. All right, now we have to retreat until the nightfall wears off. Otherwise, we'll get eaten alive. Oh, did the nightfall just wear off? Looks like it did. Okay. In that case, stop. Stop. Where's 
my Did I recall the yeoman that I was sending over this way? I think I did. Whoops. lose that fight, but the longer it takes, the more morale will drain from them. I see three units of bowmen. Oops. Fire. Do that. Archers, 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 infantry. Attack. Infantry. Attack. Infantry. Interesting timing there. Alright. Looks like the archers have successfully defeated their archers. Most part, still a couple left. Um, I don't have a good target though. I can't advance with them. I'm gonna swing them around this way a little bit. Just 
closer. All right, close enough. Run these guys around in range nice. of the archers. Nice. Nope, nope, don't fight them. What do these guys want? What are these? More pikemen? Lovely. Archers kill these pikemen now while they chase my knights around. It's like winning us this battle. Wait for masterful tactics to come back up. No, 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 don't attack. Do way more damage this way. We're losing these fights, but Knights. killing two stacks of pikemen with archers without taking any casualties. Definitely one way to help win the battle. How are these fights going? All right, our other spearmen got there. Hopefully that will mean those fights will last long enough that the battle will end before they're over. Alright, we'll go take that victory location. Archers. Oh, where did those axe would come from? Sacrifice that unit of archers. We can send our knights after those axemen. Archers. All right, you Fire. shoot. Archers. You go this way. Archers. All right, you Fire. shoot. Knights. Get back here. Keep running. Where are you going? I didn't realize you couldn't climb that hill. Where are those knights? Oh, that's right, it's nightfall, so all the mounted units move really slowly. Ugh, hurry up and win. I'll get a little experience for him. Woo! Alright. 
Well, I don't know what their tourney knights and cavalry were doing in that fight. I think they were fighting my pikemen and killing them, but whatever they were, they weren't going after my archers, which let my archers just wreak havoc on his infantry. I think it was the only reason we won that and controlling all the victory locations allowed us to win the fight, but that was still really close. Yeah. Yeah, we lost a lot. <laughs> uh, we got a couple of artifacts, though. Ooh. Ooh. I like this. Sir Dagonet is a mysterious knight who is often mocked, although he has proved his worth many times. His madness is both a gift and a curse, and he cannot be recruited by simple means. However, there are many legends about the maze in Dagonet's castle, where deadly challenges and fantastic rewards await the brave. Alright, so... Yeah, we need to go get him, because he'll be the sage for this army. Um... <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how tempted I, that is. I am to do that. Um, all right, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Hmm. I think the thing to do is to move up to here on my way and recruit whatever I can get in two turns. Um, so I can fill up the ranks in two turns. Can I get cavalry to go along with it? No. Can I get a yeoman to go along with it? No. All right, if I can't get a yeoman to go along with it, then there's not going to be anything else I can get. I'm sure of it. Yeah. All right. So we will just fill up the ranks. And we will hope. That will prevent him from recruiting any troops anywhere along here. We will hope that we can kill this army. Fingers crossed that we can kill that army um, next spring. We probably won't be able to. But we don't really lose anything if we are not able to. All right. So, because we finished this, we were able to finish library. Uh, now, do we get a discount on this? Let me take a look at Camelot here. So we built the academy. And we built the tribunal. And this. Okay. Alright, so when we start doing that. Oops. So we have four seasons left on the Tower of Nightly Deeds, so we don't need to do anything else in building this turn. Um, so yeah, the next thing we're going to want, that's two seasons, is tourney nights. Be nice to recruit regular light cavalry too. Actually, I think I'm going to do that first. Okay. All right, so it takes care of upgrades. Let's take a look at the chancellery. Yeah, I think we're going to have to cancel forced labor. We're just not getting recruitables back fast enough. 
So we'll cancel forced labor, and it will mean a little bit less income. Um, All right, Sir Alemir. Alamir? Sir Alamir went up a level. Um, level mana cost minus 20. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Even though Cleave is his bread and butter, this spell is just so good, and he already has two ranks in it. Uh, Yeoman. Defense, bowman, archery, archery, archery. All right, Sir K gained a level. Um, More magic. You know what I'm going to do? Well, as much as plus two level of the cleave skill is good for him. How many of these we actually cast? We've actually managed to cast six of them, huh? Um. Thinking as well, no, I'll do logistics first. Yeah, we'll do logistics first and we'll keep we'll keep putting up adventuring. Time for him to trade in that crown of the lost kings though. Uh, so King Mark, at least I have an easier to time deciding what to give you, um, and what to give you is another level of Mighty Blow. Oh wow, you leveled up twice, huh? Um, Right, you got all you got a ton of experience in that one fight. Oh, and these guys leveled up twice. Which gives them a lot more damage. Um all right, these guys get to pick their second special ability, their maximum. Uh, so this is an active, 50% faster attacks, if I remember to use it. Evasion on off the weaker attacks um, I'll, let's use there's no negatives for using this so I'll try and remember to use it swift arrows all right everybody's leveled up we're building something in our stronghold we're researching things in our upgrades Okay, all right, and I think I'm going to end the episode here. Yeah, so thanks for watching it, everybody. Uh, until next time, I hope you all have a terrific day.